We're going to be talking about investing in low-income housing from out of state. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. You're watching Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. And we're going to be investing in low-income housing. That's what we're doing today, right? This house right here, this is low-income housing. Now, when you guys go through the photos, you might not realize it's low-income housing because this house is beautiful, right? It's fully turnkey. Someone went in, totally renovated this. You got the subway tile backsplash, the new kitchen cabinets. They even got the stainless steel appliances. Open concept, right? This house is is beautiful, man. It's nice. Agreeable gray walls. I don't know if that's agreeable gray. It's gray of some some sort, right? They got the... The hardwood floors or vinyl floors, it's you know, that look like hardwood, one of the two, right? But this is what you want, right? This is what renters want. You know, backyard here, note there's no garage, but it's low income housing, so that kind of stuff is common. You'll just have to pay uh, for the grass cutting, right? Usually with single family homes, tenants cut their own grass, but if you don't provide them with a uh, place to store their lawnmower, uh, well, you can't make them cut the grass, right? Because they don't got a lawnmower, right? So they have Holton Wise cut the grass, right? So that's the house, right? It's beautiful. And Jeff, I'm doing this one for you, brother, right? My man Jeff from Georgia. Me and you, we've been doing analysis for a while. Analysis, analysis, analysis. I can never say that word, man. We've been doing these properties for a while, and I've noticed a trend, right? You know, you're getting the inspection reports, and, you know, uh, we're running into issues where uh, the homes are not up to your standard, right, as far as, uh, you know, their level uh, of building quality, I guess, is the word I'm looking for, right? Uh, but you're looking for these uh, lower-cost deals, right? So something's got to move, right? So we either got to buy lesser-quality houses or we got to buy better quality houses in a lesser quality neighborhood. And that's what I've done for you today, right? That's what this property's for, right? 1017 West 18th. It's in Lorain, Ohio. Been on the market about two months. And all that beautifulness y'all saw, it was listed at 67.9, right? That's cheap, man. That's cheap. What am I going to be able to do with that? Well, I'll be able to get you a Section 8 tenant at 11 hundo. Now, Got to be Section 8, Jeff. It would be crazy to do anything other than Section 8 here, right? With the Section 8 tenant in there, I anticipate our average annual NOI being 6756 As far as price goes, even though it's beautiful and it's nice, I still don't want you to pay 67 dollars Excuse me. Because paying sixty seven nine, I think, would probably be overpaying, right? You have to take into account the risk level of the neighborhood. This is very much a D-class neighborhood, right? Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> so A, we gotta go section eight tenant, and B, we gotta buy it right, right? What we have here, you got a lot of properties that sold for a very small amount of money, right? You always want to run comps, guys, especially if you're investing in a low-income neighborhood to make sure the purchase you're about to make can be supported by the neighborhood comps, right? Sometimes people see these renovated houses in these low-income neighborhoods, and they almost overpay by like 20 30K because it all looks nice and the numbers make sense. You got to run the comps. Super important, guys. A lot of these analysis shows people are sending me properties, and I'm denying them just based on the comps, right? Because... Regard, irregardless of what the numbers are going to look like, if the comps don't support it, it's not going to be supported, right? So here we have nine properties that have sold in a quarter mile radius in the last six months, and some of them very low, right? 11, 5, 16, 17, 32, 35, 37, 37, and then most recently two. 76, 450, 66,000, right? So because of these two most recent comps and the fact that we still have a decent amount of inventory moving, I would be comfortable with a $60,000 investment and a Section 8 tenant in this property, right? We have two that just sold for more than we're into it. And these two, they were not even as nice, right? This one, 
Like it's not as well renovated, okay? It's it's dated. So this sold for more than I want you to offer, and this is completely dated where yours is completely renovated, okay? So that as well as this other comp, right? This is the one that sold for 76, also incredibly dated, right? You're getting a better product, and because of the risk level of the neighborhood, I'm wanting you to offer even less than what these two people have bought their homes for, right? So I believe 60 is the price that makes this property make sense from a risk perspective, Jeff. That's an 11.3 cap. You only got to put 15K into the deal. Definitely want to finance it. Let's get an appraiser in there to make sure they see the value of 60K as well. They should be giving you a $45,000 loan, resulting in a penciled-in cash-on-cash return of 29.9%. But again, Jeff, you know transparency is my thing. I cannot stress it enough. This is low income housing. So if you do not go Section 8, I can't even tell you what the returns are going to be because we're going to be dealing with some problems, right? Section 8 is the way we got to do this. You guys can go to HoltonWise.com and read the Section 8 fact. We work with Section 8 all the time. It's very difficult and bureaucratic process when you're dealing with Section 8. During COVID, Section 8, I feel, became even more important because a lot of tenants uh, are not able to pay rent. You can't evict people uh, during COVID right now. And, of course, we got a Democrat uh, taking over to White House in 2021. So, you know, I would anticipate that COVID restrictions are going to continue. So I believe Section 8 becomes even more important. But one thing you guys have to understand is dealing with the housing authorities. They're dealing with COVID as well. Well, so that has really slowed things down. So we are seeing some extended vacancy times uh, and extended times to get these properties pushed through the inspection process with Section 8. So I want you to be aware of all of those factors, Jeff. Don't just see the shiny house and see the 29.9% uh, projected ROI and get excited, right? I don't want you coming back to me six months later if things are getting rocky with Section 8 or we're dealing with a lot of back and forth BS and you know, trying to tell me I'd never told you about it, right? Because that's what we do here, guys. We present you guys the good, the bad, the ugly when we help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios. And if you don't believe me, I want you guys to take a look at our other show, The Tenants from Hell Show, right here on Holton Weiss TV. Check that out. I want you guys, before you decide to spend your hard-earned money, I want you guys to see some of the worst of the worst. And after you see that, if you are down for the cause, you're ready to get started, you feel like you could handle that and you want to buy property similar to the one my man Jeff might be buying, send my team an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll walk you through the process. Jeff, let me know your feedback in the private email I sent you. And guess what, Jeff? But wait. There's more. I got one more property just like this that I'm gonna be I'm about to film for you right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.